On this Thanksgiving, let us pray. Almighty and gracious Father, we give you thanks for the fruits of the earth in their season and for the labors of those who harvest them. Make us, we pray, faithful stewards of your great bounty for the provision of our necessities and the relief of all who are in need to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We give you thanks. In this year, it is too easy to ask, where might a sense of gratitude come from and how do we cultivate it in a world still filled with so much uncertainty and worry from the pandemic to our own neighborhoods? Gratitude may be something we need to be a little more deliberate with this year, but gratitude as a spiritual discipline is something we can intentionally practice in fact, I would argue we must practice in order to combat that which erodes our faith entirely, our trust in God and each other, which is fear. We see too much fear in our world. Fear is the antithesis of love, and fear can be that which drives us further from any sense of gratitude and thus hope for a brighter future ahead, let alone our life with God today. Gratefulness as a spiritual discipline is a way of the heart. To practice gratitude is to live into the sense of believing and trusting that God is not only present, but continues to bless and empower us, not only as we were made, but we are becoming still that in which we are. To hear from the word of God, you are enough, what you have, with whatever the context is, it's enough to not only bless, but it's to share. For when we are living gratefully, we are not living fearfully, not living under a sense of scarcity, but a sense of sufficiency. We are enough, and it is a blessing. Brother David Stendelrost, a Benedictine monk who even into his late 80s has helped so many discover how gratitude and joy can truly transform one's life said it's not something that's for sale, you can't build it yourself, nor try to bargain it. Brother David Stenderos poses gratitude comes from experiencing something you feel is valuable as a real gift. You experience it fully, and you realize it is freely given. We can live gratefully by experiencing, becoming aware that who we are, what we have as talents and skills, and even the days we have, the time we are given, is not only good, it is enough to do something with and are themselves a gift and an opportunity to reveal who God is in our world around us. On this day, we as a nation give thanks. We are also asking God to make us, from our collect, faithful stewards of God's gifts. When, I, when we intentionally take the time to experience who we are fully, paying attention to how gifts and talents are applied, and especially shared, we start to recognize that God is active at work in our life here and now. I find God in what you and I are doing in his name in this place and beyond. Therefore, we're able to make God known to those around us in ever clearer ways and what an incredible gift that is. I am so truly thankful. I celebrate and revel in God because of you and what we share in God's grace together. We can recognize God's movement among us and act in response to God's love to us. Incredible things start to happen when we do this, and our practice of joy and gratitude becomes that much clearer. When I look around the people of St. Thomas, the ministry and gifts we share, I truly can see God at work in the person you are and what, who you are becoming still. I can see God at work by what we are offering each other, and I can see God working to do some pretty bold things that continue to change lives. It's a cause for thanksgiving indeed. May the God of hope Fill us with all joy and peace and believing so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving.